What is going on everybody, Fluxo here, and once again I'm teaming up with those people over at Paradox Interactive to bring you guys another Foundry tutorial video. Today we'll be looking at how assembly lines work and how you can build your very own robot army. So without further ado, let's get into this one. Assembly lines produce items in multiple steps. There are multiple assembly line buildings that you will need to place in the correct order to achieve the end product. To put this in layman's terms, it's like a large conveyor belt with built-in sections to modify the product on its way down the line. The assembly line start building is the first building of the system. You will need to supply this with any item that starts assembly line products. You can do this via the input conveyor holes on the machine itself. More than likely the next machine that you will need to use in your assembly line is the producer. These machines have multiple functions to fit the task that you are looking for the machine to do. The producer can be told what to do via the screen panel on the producer itself. We will touch more upon how to order these tasks shortly, but first let's take a look at the rail pieces. Rail pieces are used for when you may need to chain your assembly pieces together. They basically act as filler pieces to convey your assembly lines over distances, or even take it round curves and up and down slopes. There are lots of options, just hold right click and select the piece you need for your assembly line. Splitters and mergers allow you to branch and merge your assembly line. There currently isn't requirement for these pieces just yet as the game is in early access, but it is worth noting that for future tasks assembly lines are going to need to split and merge for efficiency as different tasks will take different times. Next up we have the painter. Once your assembly line products have been fully assembled it needs to go through the painter. Here you can configure the colour scheme of your product. You will need to supply the painter with paint via the pipe connection on the side. Just to mention, the colour scheme of the product has no effect on the sale price itself. Last but not least is the sales warehouse. This would be the final building of your assembly line. This is where all your products will be stored before they are shipped off to the space station to be sold. Now we know what all the pieces do, let's take a look at how they work together. The first machine we will start with is the starter. Place down your starter and feed in your robot torsos. From there you need to add your first producer to the assembly line. Once placed, go to the screen panel, select service robot and then click attach head. Make sure that you are feeding this producer with robot heads. After that you want to build 8 more producers, these will be for the limbs of the robot. At each point you will need to supply the producer with the correct product and set the following producer to weld that product. For example, the path I have chosen here, I have attached the right arm, then set the following producer to weld the right arm. After that, set your next producer to attach the left arm, then set the following producer to weld the left arm, then the right leg, then weld the right leg, and finally the left leg, and then weld the left leg. Once your robot has been pieced and welded together, the last thing you're going to want to do is run it through a painter. Place your painter next in your assembly line and choose from the screen panel what colour you want to paint your robot. Again, whatever colour you choose will have no effect on the sale price of the robot itself. Lastly, place your sales warehouse at the end of the line. Once the robots have been painted, they will be stored in the warehouse waiting for a cargo ship to take them to the space station to be sold. So there you have it guys, hopefully now you can understand how assembly lines work and can start building a robot army of your own. At least for now this will be the last tutorial I'll have for you guys, so I just want to say a huge thank you for you all being here and hanging out as much as you have done. And over everything else I just want to say a huge thank you to Paradox Interactive for the opportunity. It's been a great pleasure and it's been so much fun working with you all. If you did like the video let me know by the likes in the comments. Also don't forget to subscribe to the Foundry YouTube channel for all updates moving forward. As for myself, I'll catch you all in the future.